Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We begin this week on a launch pad at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There, NASA at long last successfully launched its massive Space Launch System, or SLS, rocket as part of its Artemis program. Artemis aims to return humans to the lunar surface after half a century without visitors from Earth. The program suffered years of delays and went billions of dollars over budget, and this launch carried only test dummies, but it opens the door for future crewed missions returning astronauts to the moon. There were a bunch there that would like to be on that rocket. Uh, and I have to say, for what we saw tonight, it's an A+. Plus. The Artemis program has long-term goals of creating a lunar outpost from which to launch deeper space missions like one to Mars. Less than two hours after takeoff, the Orion capsule carrying the test dummy crew beamed back its first image of Earth. Orion should reach the moon by Monday, and if all goes according to plan, it should then enter a far-flung orbit as part of this test run. NASA aims to send astronauts on a similar mission next year. In other out-of-this-world news, NASA astronauts John Casada and Frank Rubio spacewalked this week to upgrade the International Space Station's solar arrays. Space.com reports the fully upgraded system as yet incomplete could boost the station's electric supply by 20 to 30 percent. Also this week, NASA released an image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. In the middle of the hourglass shape named L1527 is a protostar, or the early stages of a star that's forming. It's a young one at roughly 100,000 years old, but NASA says this view of the region shows a glimpse of what our sun and solar system looked like in their infancy. Finally this week, from the depths of the cosmos to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. As provided by the History Channel, video surfaced of documentary filming divers making an unexpected discovery while searching for wreckage of a World War II plane. In January 1986, seven astronauts boarded the Space Shuttle Challenger for a doomed launch from Florida's Cape Canaveral. Shortly after liftoff, Challenger blew apart, killing all on board. The shuttle disintegrated over the Atlantic Ocean. That's where divers unearthed a four and a half by four and a half meter piece believed to be a part of Challenger's belly. About half of the shuttle has been recovered since the accident and all of it remains the property of the United States government. Arash Erbasadi, VOA News.